Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a haul video and something else video. It's a two-in-one, but I am so excited right now. I'm sorry about that. I am beyond excited. The most amazing thing happened to me yesterday. Uh, I'm going to get to that. You're going to have to watch the haul, the boring haul part first before we get to that part. But uh, I'll get to that part eventually. I'm just going to, you know, conceal my excitement until then. But first, I went to GameStop today to pick up a bunch of pre-orders. It has been desert dry at GameStop for the last two months. It's just been no phone calls. GameStop hasn't been calling me. That's really sad. I don't like when GameStop doesn't call me. I just feel, you know, I feel left out now. But uh, I guess it's something to do with their uh, annual revenue how they spread it out because i guess january february are the last month so they kind of try to pinch for pennies at least that's what they were kind of telling me but then march comes along and it's just like okay we got this we got this we got this we got this and i was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. calm down i just say that again so i didn't get all of it but i got a lot of the things i really really wanted and uh oh boy we got a lot of good reviews coming up this week but first off i'm gonna start off with what am i start off with all of this is absolutely amazing, but we got the TVC Paz Vizla. Now, this one is really, really cool. He comes with uh, some new accessories that the Black Series one didn't come with, like the Vibro Blade, I believe, or the knife, and then the shield. So this is going to be a really fun figure, and I will do a review for all of these. I do have reviews coming for the other three TVC ones that I mentioned. I believe it was Cal Kestis, Luke Skywalker, and the... Uh, the Yellow Stormtrooper, the Heavy Infantry, I believe it's called. I think Heavy heavy Artillery, I think it's called. But still, a lot of really cool figures. But this is the first one. Very, very excited to have this one. That's the only TVC one they had. Or no, they had the Biker Scout as well. But I decided just to get that one for today. And then this was the one that I really wanted. They got Scorch. They got Scorch. Finally, we completed the Republic Commando Delta Squad. I'm beyond excited to have this. If I'm being honest, though, I wish they would have released them a little sooner so we could have had the whole team in plastic packaging. But now we have three in plastic packaging and one in plastic free. But that really isn't that big of a deal. But this is going to be an awesome, awesome figure. I'm so excited to finally have the whole team because I really do like these figures. I know a lot of people are a little iffy on them. But personally, I think that they are absolutely amazing. And then let's do a little Marvel intermission here. We got Blob. So for some, I guess the pre-order sold out. So for some reason, I wasn't able to pre-order it uh, along with the three packs like a few months ago. So I was a little scared that it would be hard to find, but they had one on the shelf and oh boy, oh boy, I grabbed that faster than I grabbed the ripe oranges at Safeway. That was a weird analogy, but there it is nonetheless. Very, very excited to have this figure. I already opened him and he is absolutely amazing. This is probably my most wanted X-Men character that they have done here. There he is. Uh, I always, always loved the original character, and I just, the concept of it is hilarious, and I love the original figure is what I meant to say, but I thought they could have done a Build-A-Figure or something, but this is just as good. It was a little pricey, so about $75 here in Canada, but you know, it's Blob. I, I would have paid $150, no, I wouldn't have, $75 is more than enough, but next up, we got Scar Trooper Mick. Mick, interesting, whoa, interesting name. Uh, cool image though, he's like facing back, all cool, acting all, you know, like he's he's all it, and you know, he is, but this is a cool figure. I really like the first uh, trooper, I forgot his name, but I wonder if we are gonna get the whole team, cause, whoa, these are really weird boxes. This is plastic free, and the little handle that goes in to close it kinda already is warping, but there. Here you can see the rest of the team. So we have him as well remember his name exactly but it'd be cool to get this whole team i just don't know how they would release this big guy probably like a deluxe figure but i really do like these legend comic figures that they do they just allow a lot more uh areas of the star wars universe get flushed out in the or fleshed out into the uh black series line which is awesome just like dr afra i always always wanted the first one uh, I didn't know too much about the character, but I knew enough. I used to watch a bunch of videos on her series, and I really wanted the figure, but by the time I wanted her, she was already, like, 150, and I was like, okay, that's a lost dream. But then they released this one, and this is a really, really cool outfit, but to kind of go with this, I also did get the Mara Jade. Now, the Mara Jade, I believe they have the same body. I could be wrong about that, but 
And I hope this isn't wrong because I'm going to be really mad. It looks like she has pinless double jointed knees, which I believe will be the first for the Black Series. But <sighs> probably going to open this and it's going to be pinned and I'm just going to be all sappy. But, you know, all good. I'm still very excited to have these two figures. Nonetheless, very, very good uh, legend figures that they did this year. Last year was okay. There were kind of some duds with like the Kersantin and uh, the Leia was awesome. Vader was awesome. And the Stormtrooper whatever his name was is awesome but uh these three are absolutely amazing it's interesting we only got three the other years we've been getting four so maybe there's another one coming out but for now these three are absolutely amazing and that is the haul now on to that was awesome that's very exciting but to the actual actual exciting part yes uh sorry i I'm, I'm very excited i'm fumbling my words but yesterday was the Canadian Juno Awards, which are the Canadian Music Awards. So I went there. It was absolutely amazing. Very, very talented people. Crazy, crazy show. Someone went on stage and that was hilarious. But the show was absolutely, absolutely awesome. I I haven't gone to see an event like that in a long time. So it was uh, definitely something refreshing. But the host of it was Simu Liu. Probably one of my top three actors right now. He's absolutely amazing. I think Shang-Chi's in my like top three, top five Marvel movies. I absolutely love that movie. And I managed to meet him and he was absolutely amazing. He was just like the nicest guy ever. Sometimes these celebrities can be, you know, a little, uh, you know what I mean, but he was so down to earth. He asked about the, he's like, uh, asked about the channel. I told him about the channel. And then one of his guys there wanted my, uh, uh, the, my Instagram page. Cause he knew, uh, the, uh, the guy from the Mandalorian, he has a channel too. I I'm blanking on the name right now, but he does a toy channel or a toy broadcast as well. So that's very, very cool. But it was really cool. He was just talking to me about, uh, that. And then I just told him, I'm like, you're, you're going to be okay against Kane. Don't worry about it. You got it. It's, it's not a big deal. You're, you're, uh, well capable of handling yourself, but He signed my Shang-Chi figure. He signed it. This is absolutely amazing. This genuinely made my year. Because like I said, he is one of my favorite actors out right now. Out right now. <laughs> like they get released. No. He's just so talented. I'm really excited to see the Barbie movie too. And he was such an amazing host. Like he was singing. He was dancing. Most hosts go up there and they're like, hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Ha uh -huh. I mean, not no diss on Jimmy Kimmel, but you know, they just go up there, they uh, say the awards, they, you know, crack a few jokes, but he was performing, doing backflips, he was doing all sorts of things, and then I got my, yeah, my action figure sign, which was absolutely amazing, so thank you so very much to Simu Leo, I know he's not watching this, but still very, very, very awesome, but yes, that is the video, there is a closer look at the signature, looks absolutely amazing, and that's not rubbing off either, so... <laughs> sorry guys i'm really really excited about this right now but thank you so much for watching this video i'm gonna try to contain my excitement and after that i will do i will do a bunch of reviews enough reviews to keep you all very very uh fulfilled for the next week or so uh, i also just posted a mandalorian asmr speed build video i'm trying those out i really really like doing them i think uh, uh i was always interested in the concept of doing like lego type asmr videos i find them very satisfying and uh, it just makes sense because uh i feel like lego is uh, just fits so perfect in that demographic but let me know what you think of those videos in the comments below and let me know which one of these you want me to do first i'm probably going to just do them all today and then schedule them but still let me know which ones you want to do first let me know what you think of this song chi and uh yeah i will see you in my next video but until then thank you so much for watching I have been Jagger Collector. There's Simu Liu Shang-Chi. And I will see you in my next video.